What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Shred. It's just a really quick Premiere Pro tutorial for you. If you're looking to add a little bit more motion, dynamic interest, just make your videos a little bit better. This is a trick that I have um, been using for a couple of years now, never done a video on, but it's basically just adding keyframes to add a little bit of motion to your shots. One of the things that you may find is if you've got a bunch of shots that were just shot locked off, you weren't really adding much movement, they're kind of stale, kind of dry. So I've got this sequence right here. Let me just mute my audio. So here's a little sequence, hands, cave, okay, really cool. But if we actually exaggerate the movement in these camera shots a little bit, we can add a lot more interest. So what we're gonna do is just hit the keyframe button up here. Now for me, because I like to keep things really quick and simple, what I'll do is I'll add a keyframe. So I'll hit this little button right there to show you once more. There it is, hitting a button. Who knew? Then I'm going to hit the down arrow on my keyboard, and that's going to take me to the next clip in the sequence. So down and up will navigate inside of clips inside of your sequence, and then left and right will move between frames. So what I'm going to do is hit down. That'll take me to the end of the clip. I'll back up to the next spot where I can actually see that clip, and then I'm going to grab my height right here, and I'm just going to move it. And that's automatically going to add another keyframe to my sequence, and I'm just going to reposition the frame. So in this case, I went from here, oh, hello, here, and then we're going up to there. Now we're not really adding a lot of motion, but here's without the keyframe. We're just gonna reset it. That's where the shot ended before, and now here's where it ends. So it just ends in a lot nicer spot, and we're slowly going up in that shot. So then we're gonna keep that motion going. So we've got this next shot of a hand, really quick one, just like that. We're gonna add another keyframe in here. So again, we're gonna go to the beginning of that clip, and if your up and down arrows aren't actually cycling to the beginning of the clip, it's because you haven't highlighted it as one of your selected tracks here on the right. So I'm going to, again, hit the position. And again, we're going up. So there's two options. We could just hit the position, go to the end like I like to do, and move it kind of like that. So now it's gone up with that shot. Really, really quick and simple way to add a little motion to your shots. Now you might be saying, Ryan, how do you get these black bars? That's a great question. Um, I've just got a little template here that I've downloaded, I think from like Tom Santos Films or something, I'll try and link it in the description. But it's basically just an anamorphic black bar template. However, if you don't have one of these, super easy to add that in. And that's what allows you this wiggle room, right? Is allowing you to have the motion by cropping a little bit, you can move up and down super easy. You can also do this for left to right movements. So let's say, let's just drop back over here. <laughs> drop back over here. I've got my shot in the cave right there. Super quick, little pan around. We're going to add a little bit more motion. So it's already panning to the right of the shot inside of this. So we're going to the right of our subjects. What I'm going to do is find the shot, select the beginning. We're going to exaggerate it, the movement that's in there. So we're going to, that was by accident, <laughs> we're going to add some scale. So we'll just zoom in a little bit, to say 105. And then I'm going to reposition for the start of my frame. So I want their faces to be in the shot. So we'll just correct it there. And then I'm also going to move things to the left. So remember, we're adding motion from the left to right in this shot. So there's the far left of the frame. Now I'm going to go to the end of the shot, select that clip again, and reposition my clip on the far right of the frame. So now we've just exaggerated the amount of movement. So you see that? It's very quick, and there's not a whole lot to see, but just like that. Compared to, let me delete these keyframes and play it for you again. So almost no, like, really noticeable difference, and that's the whole point. You don't want it to be noticeable because if it is, hello, let's, uh, okay. Because if it is really noticeable, obviously it's not going to feel natural. So here's with, and then once more without. Delete those keyframes. Here's without. So we're just adding a little bit of motion, and you do that cumulatively over all of these clips, and you're really going to get some good effects. So let me show you at the beginning of this video. I've got an intro here, so we had uh, a nice little drone shot, and we cut to this shot of Castle Mountain. And you can see how the video slowly goes down like that. That was actually added in post. So the shot itself is very static, so we'll delete it. Here's without. Not much going on, and we add it back in. Just a nice little pan. And so I connected that shot with this one by, again, we've got a nice little pan down. Same exact thing. Then this one, I did a pan up. And then we've got a nice little drone shot here and shushwing. 
See that camera movement? We're slightly moving it from right to left. Again, I'll add it with the same keyframe technique. So I'll actually go through almost every single clip in my project and add a little bit of movement. Um, it helps tie clips together. So if both, if all the clips are moving in the same direction, so all of these are moving from right to left, just very subtly, they just blend a little bit better. So hopefully that was helpful for you. And as far as those black bars goes, you can check the link in the description or I'm gonna go ahead and show you a really quick way to do it. You just go to color mat here. We're going to select a black color. Cool, we'll call it screen box thing as it's called officially in Hollywood. And then all you do is just drag it over your clip and reposition it. So you can position it on the bottom somewhere, let's say there. And then we do the same thing. We'll just option and drag it up to make a duplicate. And we're going to do the exact opposite this time. And drag it all the way up and say there. So you don't know if it's necessarily like exactly aligned, but most of the time that's not a big deal. So if I don't have my template on me, <laughs> that's what you can do to really quickly add that sort of anamorphic cinema bars to your videos, okay? So hopefully this was helpful in some way, shape, or form. If it was, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe for more great content, and leave a comment below if you have a better way of doing this, actual other ways you use keyframes to really quickly add some movement to your projects. I'd love to hear about it. Let's share some information, have a conversation. Cool. In the meantime, create something awesome. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.